My name is Guy Walker. I'm a senior lecturer at Buckinghamshire New University and I'm the course leader for games development. What we try to do is give the students transferable skills. So yes, they learn about artificial intelligence, graphical programming, uh, physics and mathematics relating to games, but they also have the transferable skills uh, to succeed in uh, other areas. So we have modules uh, uh, which teach them how to develop web applications, uh, mobile applications, there's a module on uh, Android, okay, and even database design and interface design. Okay. So they're well placed, not only to go into the games industry, but also to the wider software sector. We teach uh, students uh, from year one how to code, and sometimes it's better that they haven't coded so they haven't picked any, up any bad habits. But what we do need is an appreciation of what code is, because over oh, about 50-60% of the course is coding. We do in fact have a dedicated module uh, where the, the class as a whole break up into teams and each team develops a, a separate level of a, more, uh, a game. Okay. And uh, uh, we encourage the students then to collaborate with students on other courses in the arts course who uh, generate the content for these games. So there's a lot of collaboration going on there. And what we're trying to do is mimic what would happen in industry. We place less emphasis on the mathematics and more on the transferable skills. So consequently, yes, you not only will you uh, uh, learn about uh, core games-related topics like AI, graphical programming, and even audio programming, uh, but you will also learn about uh, web development, mobile development, database design, and user interface design. What we don't want students is to be so specialised they've marginalised themselves out of the job market. So we're trying to give them not only yeah, the soft skills that are required, but also technical skills that uh, cover a widespread area so they can maximise their job opportunities.